Hey guys, welcome to homeschool. Exercise challenge number four. Today's challenge, we're actually gonna get down onto the mat and we're gonna focus on our ab and core muscles. First we will do V-ups, then we will do windshield wipers, and then we will end with a leg raise and hold. Each exercise will be done for one minute with a one minute break in between. Our first exercise are gonna be V-ups. For this exercise, you'll lie flat on your back your arms above your head and your legs out straight. You will then bring your body up in a V formation, touching your hands to your feet, trying to keep your legs and arms as straight as possible. We will do this for one minute and we will try to get as many as we can in that minute. Let me show you how they're done. Hands are straight, legs are straight. We're going to come up and meet in the middle. That's one. Our next exercise are going to be windshield wipers. You lay your body flat, you'll bring your knees up in a tuck position, and you will go over to the right and then to the left. Right and left equals one. Right, left equals one. We'll see how many we can do in one minute. Lastly, we will get back down into the position that we started in with the V-ups. However, it usually helps to keep your hands tucked under your butt. Keep your legs straight. You want to raise them at least six inches off the ground and hold them in that position for the entire minute. Each one of these exercises are difficult in their own right, but all three stacked on top of each other can get pretty hard. Don't get discouraged. Do them as fat or hold them as long as you can. Do them as fast as you can. Try not to stop and try to keep the correct form. I have a clock and we'll be keeping time. We'll go one minute for each with a one minute rest period in between. Try to keep water nearby in case you need to drink. Here we go. Ready? Go. Stop. 25. That's not easy. <laughs> Alright, up next, we're going to be our windshield wipers. We're going to lay flat on our backs with our feet in a tuck position. You'll keep your legs together and you're going to rotate your entire body over to the right and to the left over and back counts as one. We'll see how many we can do in a minute. Now again, these exercises, especially stacked on top of each other, are pretty difficult. If you need to take a break during your minute, that's fine. Try to do as many as you can. And most importantly, try to keep the correct form while you do it. Here we go. Feet tucked. I'll put my hands underneath my butt. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, seven. Sixty. Eighty. 
Stop. 19. Whew. All right. For our last exercise, we'll be, do Sorry. We'll be doing leg raises and hold. Stick your hands underneath your butt. Keep your legs straight. When I say go, you'll raise your feet and legs six inches off the ground. You want to try to hold them there. They're going to want to start to drop down, especially because your core muscles are exhausted from the first two exercises. Try to hold them there. If you need to bring them back up, go ahead and do so. As they start to work themselves down towards the ground, make sure you reset them six inches. This will not be easy. Got about 10 seconds before we start. Hands underneath your butt. Let's see if I can see my timer. Ready? Go. Lift and hold. Try to hold your legs as straight as possible. Feet six inches off the ground. Forget to breathe. Ten seconds left. You can do anything for ten seconds. Stop. Easy peasy. All right. That's it. See you tomorrow for exercise challenge number five.